Hello everyone, in this work we target the challenge of low-light image enhancement for raw images and propose a generalized pipeline to fully exploit the potential of raw images. Firstly, the DNF framework decouples the whole task into two domain-specific yeah. tasks, denoising in the raw domain and color restoration in the sRGB domain, thus enabling exploiting the unique properties exclusive to each domain. Furthermore, we introduce the denoising prior feedback this feature-level data flow aggregates complementary features across stages, reducing error accumulation. It serves as a bridge, ensuring smooth yet an effective transition from raw denoising to sRGB color restoration. Regarding performance, our DNF framework demonstrates remarkable efficiency. It achieves significant performance improvement with only 19% of the parameters and 63% of the flops compared to the previous state-of-the-art method. The efficiency does not compromise the quality of the results. On the contrary, it delivers a 0.97 dB PSNR improvement on the Sony dataset and a 1.3 dB PSNR improvement on the Fuji dataset. As we delve deeper into our methodology, it is important to understand why we choose to work with raw data for low-light Im image enhancements. Raw data offers three distinct advantages over RGB data in the context. First, unlike RGB data, the signal in raw data is linearly correlated with the photon cones. This linear correlation simplifies the enhancement process as it provides a more direct and accurate representation of the scene's illumination. Second, in raw data, the noise distribution are tractable before the image signal processing stage. This is crucial for low-light image enhancement as noise is a significant issue in low-light conditions. Thirdly, raw data typically has a higher bit depth than RGB data. In low-light conditions where the intensity of the light is often faint, this ability to distinguish between low-intensity signals is invaluable. By leveraging these advantages of raw data, our DNF framework is able to deliver superior performance in low-light image enhancement. As we explore the landscape of existing methods for low-light image enhancement, we find that they generally fall into two categories, single-stage methods and multi-stage methods. Each of these approaches has its own inherent problems that limits their effectiveness. As for single-stage methods, these methods directly learn the mapping from noisy raw images to clean RGB images. While this approach might seem straightforward, it introduces a problem known as domain ambiguity. This issue arises because the method is trying to learn a complex transformation across different domains in a single step. It significantly increases the learning difficulty and makes it harder for the network to fit the data accurately. As a result, the performance of the single-stage method is often a sub optimal. And for multi-stage methods, these methods, on the other hand, break down the enhancement process into multiple stages. However, they only leverage lossy image level data flow between the stages. This means that any errors or inaccuracies in one stage are passed on to the next stage and accumulate throughout the process. This error accumulation often leads to insufficient detail recovery in the final results, limiting the effectiveness of multi-stage methods. For these two issues, we propose domain-specific task decoupling and denoising prior feedback respectively as our solutions. This is the overall data flow of our approach, and more details can be found in our paper. In our ablation study, we demonstrate the effectiveness of our DNF framework's key components. First, we show that reasonable task decoupling methods such as not performing intermediate supervision or performing RGB intermediate supervision, leading to performance degradation. This highlights the importance of our domain-specific task decoupling approach. Second. We show that changing our feedback mechanism to conventional single-stage or multi-stage methods also results in performance drops. 
This underscores the effectiveness of our denoising prior feedback mechanism. Finally, we demonstrate the effectiveness of the gating mechanism in our feature fusion model. This mechanism plays a crucial role in aggregating complementary features across stages, leading to improved imaging quality. These findings from our ablation study provide strong evidence for the effectiveness and robustness of our DNF framework. In our experiment on the SID dataset, DNF clearly demonstrates superior performance. It exhibits exceptional capabilities in denoising and color restoration, significantly outperforming existing methods. While the DNF is primarily an image denoising algorithm, it also shows impressive performance in video denoising. This is demonstrated in our experiments with videos shot on campus, further showcasing the versatility and effectiveness of our DNF framework. And thank you for your time.